Hello football fans, in this video I'm going to compare some of the best Spanish goalkeepers that is David De Gea, Kepa Arizabalaga, Unai Simon, Robert Sanchez and David Raya. I'm going to compare their club careers, their national careers, their penalty records, awards that they have received and trophies that they have won with their teams. Hello guys once again, please like this video and leave your comment down below. I respond to all the comments because I value you. Also subscribe to this channel, it's free and you can always change your mind later. Love you guys, enjoy the rest of the video. So let us start with some of their basic information. De Gea's full name is David De Gea Quintana. Kepa's full name is Kepa Arizabalaga Revuelta. Simon's full name is Unai Simon Mendibil. Sanchez's full name is Robert Lynch Sanchez. While Raya's full name is David Raya Martin. De Gea was born on 7th November 1990, he's 32 years old. Kepa was born on 3rd October 1994, he's 28 years old. Unai Simon was born on 11th June 1997, he's 25 years old. Sanchez was born on 18th November 1997, he's 24 years old. While David Raya was born on 15th September 1995, he's 27 years old. All of them were born in Spain. David De Gea is 1.92 meters or 6 feet 4 inches tall. Kepa is 1.89 meters or 6 feet 2 inches tall. Unai Simon is 1.90 meters or 6 feet 3 inches tall. Robert Sanchez is 1.97 meters or 6 feet 6 inches tall. While David Raya is 1.83 meters or 6 feet 0 inches tall. David De Gea's current market value is 15 million euros. For Kepa Arizabalaga is 15 million euros. For Unai Simon is 25 million euros. For Robert Sanchez is that 2 million euros. While for David Raya is 22 million euros. David De Gea's salary is for that 2,000 euros per week. For Kepa Arizabalaga is on 72,000 euros. For Unai Simon is 85,000 euros. For Robert Sanchez is 20,000 euros. Well, for David Dreyer is 28,000 euros. Okay, let us now compare their club careers. David De Gea has played for Atletico Madrid and Manchester United. Kepa Arizabalaga has played for Bilbao, Ponferradina, Real Valladolid and Chelsea. Unai Simon has played for Bilbao. Robert Sanchez has played for Brighton, Forest Green Rovers and Rochdale. While David Raya has played for Blackburn, Southport and Brentford. David De Gea has played a total of 624 club games. Kepa Arizabalaga has played 299 games. Unai Simon has played 201 games. Robert Sanchez has played 172 games. While David Raya has played 298 games. David De Gea has considered 698 goals. Kepa has considered 315 goals. Unai Simon has considered 188 goals. Robert Sanchez has considered 198 goals. While David Raya has considered 346 goals. David De Gea has kept 207 clean sheets. Kepa Arizabalaga has kept 105 clean sheets. Unai Simon has kept 74. Robert Sanchez has kept 52. While David Raya has kept 92. So David De Gea has a clean sheet ratio of 33.2%. Kepa Arizabalaga has 35.1%, Unai Simon has 36.8%, Robert Sanchez has 30.2%, while David Raya has 30.9%. Okay, let us now compare their national careers. All of them represent Spain national team. David here has played 45 international games. Kepa has played 11 games. Unai Simon has played 27 games. Sanchez has played one game. Hoiraya has played one game as well. David De Gea has considered 36 goals. Kepa has considered 4 goals. Unai Simon has considered 21 goals. Sanchez has considered 0 goals. Hoiraya has considered 1 goal. David De Gea has kept 21 clean sheets. Kepa Arizabalaga has kept 7 clean sheets. Unai Simon has kept 12 clean sheets. 
Robert Sanchez has kept one clean sheet, while David Dreyer has kept zero clean sheets. So David De Gea has a clean sheet ratio of 46.7%. Kepa Arizabalaga has 63.6%. Unai Simon has 44.4%. Robert Sanchez has 100%, while David Dreyer has 0%. Alright, let us now compare their total career statistics for both club and country in all competitions. David De Gea has played a total of 669 games in his entire football career. Kepa Arizabalaga has played 310 games. Unai Simon has played 228 games. Robert Sanchez has played 173 games while David Raya has played 299 games. David De Gea has conceded 734 goals. Kepa has conceded 319 goals. Unai Simon has conceded 209 goals. Robert Sanchez 198 goals, while David Raya 347 goals. David De Gea has kept 228 clean sheets. Kepa has kept 112 clean sheets. Unai Simon has kept 86 clean sheets. Robert Sanchez has kept 53 clean sheets, while David Raya has kept 92 clean sheets. So David De Gea has a clean sheet ratio of 34%. Kepa has 36%. Unai Simon has 38%. Robert Sanchez has 31%, while David Raya has 31% as well. Okay, let us now compare their penalty records. David De Gea has faced 71 penalties, Kepa Arizabalaga 24, Unai Simon 28, Robert Sanchez 23, and David Raya 35. David De Gea has saved 13 penalties, Kepa has saved 7, Unai Simon 6, Robert Sanchez 4, and David Raya 5. So David De Gea has a penalty save ratio of 18%. Kepa has 29%, Unai Simon has 21%, Robert Sanchez has 17%, while David Raya has 14%. Okay, let us now compare the awards that they have received. David De Gea has received 20 awards, that includes one time Premier League Golden Glove and five times PFA Premier League Team of the Year. Kepa Arizabalaga has received one award, that is UEFA Europa League Squad of the Season 2018-2019. Unai Simon has received one award as well, that is UEFA La Liga Revelation Team of the Year 2019-2020. Robert Sanchez has received zero awards, while David Raya has received one award, that is EFL Golden Glove 2019-2020. Okay, let us now compare the trophies that they have won with their teams. David De Gea has won 9 trophies, that is 1 EPL trophy, 2 Europa Leagues, 1 UEFA Super Cup, 1 FA Cup, 1 League Cup and 3 Community Shields. Kepa Arizabalaga has won 4 trophies, that is 1 FIFA Club World Cup, 1 UCL trophy, 1 Europa League trophy and 1 UEFA Super Cup. Unai Simon has won 1 trophy, that is 1 Spanish Super Cup. Robert Sanchez has won 0 trophies, while David Raya has won 0 trophies as well. Alright guys, there you have it. Which of these 5 goalkeepers do you think is the best? And who do you think should play for Spain at the FIFA World Cup? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching Factual Animations on YouTube. Please subscribe for more amazing content like this. Also like this video and comment down below. Cheers!